For those of you who have been around for a little while, this video is gonna be a little bit different. I won't be diving into psychology or philosophy, but the great news is if you stay tuned for the end of this video, you're gonna find out how you can win $100. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, typically what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what we can learn from them. I try to look at things from different angles, just get our wheels turning a little bit. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so anyways, for this video, we will be donating 20% of all of the ad revenue to the ASPCA. I thought, since we'll be talking about the allegations against Shane Dawson and the relationships with his cat, why not donate to the ASPCA? But I don't even know if this video will be monetized or not because I'm gonna do a kind of unedited, unfiltered <laughs> video. But yeah, anyways, the, the new video from Shane Dawson from his Jeffree Star series just came out, uh, The Dangerous World of Jeffree Star. And we got to see, you know, what was going on at that time when Shane Dawson was getting accused of the cat stuff, but as well as um, when Jeffree Star's uh, warehouse got broken into. But anyways, for those of you who haven't met me yet, uh, I can relate to having uh, the internet come after you, even though it's not even at the same level as it is when it happens to Shane Dawson. But anyways, like I couldn't help but laugh and finally feel like I could relate to somebody as when I saw clips like this. Today was a not good day because the whole internet thinks that I fuck my Sounds like a joke. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I've had four glasses of wine, and it sounds like a not real thing. Also, physically not possible. But we're not gonna get into it. Now imagine, <laughs> imagine anybody putting their dick anywhere near a cat. Literally not possible. What yeah, would I thought about that, and I was like, I don't think it would like even work. It, it literally wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what to do in these situations. Just grab the camera. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I guarantee, like right then, like Shane was probably so mad, like and like frustrated, but like he couldn't help but laugh when Morgan was laughing too. You want to know why? Because it's so silly and ridiculous. Like, like when this is happening to you, you look at it like, is this really happening? It shifts your entire mindset and perspective on humanity. Like I can only imagine being Shane Dawson sitting there, right? And being trending on Twitter because people think I boned my cat, right? Like you sit back and you're like, can people actually believe that? What type of person actually believes that narrative. You know what I mean? Like it's absolutely bananas and you have to laugh at how silly it is. And this is something that I've had to do many, many, many times. All right. So what was it like six months ago? Maybe I was canceled. I'm sitting there looking at these insane allegations going on. I'm like, are you serious right now? Like no evidence, no proof. And you see this stuff just spread like wildfire and you're just like, what the fuck is even happening? Who can believe this shit, right? But I love how Shane Dawson started talking about how he's just gonna start leaning into this shit. Like you could tell like he's pissed, he's done with it. And he talks about his process. Like you go through it and, and you're just like, okay, and I'm gonna do this apology and I'm gonna be upset and then Ryland's gonna come in and, all these other things, but he's like, you know, next time I'm just gonna lean into it and advertise and everything like that, like I'm fucking done, right? And I will tell you this right now, if there's one thing that I would go back and change, I would have never apologized. I would have never made those dumb apology videos. That was one of the dumbest things I did. Like, 
when I reflect on that situation, I, because of the situation and things I did leading up to the apologies, like, like I made dumber decisions afterwards than I did that led to all the bullshit, right? Like, it's like this weird sort of quicksand where the more you panic, the deeper you go in. But anyways, like apologies don't do shit, all right? Like people already make up their opinions. Like ever since this happened to me, I have been so fascinated with how irrational people can be right? Like how insane it can all get. Like right now I'm currently reading a book called uh, Predictably Irrational and I love it, right? But um, I've also been reading books by uh, Jonathan Haidt um, and a bunch of others just trying to understand why do we act so ridiculous? Like we fancy ourselves as these logical human beings and we, once you start observing what's going on, like it's absolute madness. Right? And some of you are like, shut the hell up, Chris. Like, where's that $100 that you mentioned? So here's what I'm gonna do. To prove to all of you how fucking ridiculous all of this stuff is, I am going to give $100, all right? And I ain't swimming in cash. Look at my views, baby. I am gonna give $100 to the first person who can find a clip of me diagnosing somebody, all right, $100. So tell your friends, get a group of five of you, that'll be $20 each. Who out there couldn't use an extra $100, all right? But I'm doing this to prove how silly and dumb this all is, right? Like, I'm gonna cut this video off in just a minute, but the other day I was looking for one of my old videos and I just scrolled past all of these random people who don't know me and just hate me like I murdered their child or something. And I'm like, this is pure insanity. But I was slapped with the label a fake therapist. Most of the hate videos, hate comments that you see, will talk about me diagnosing people. That is why I am offering $100 to the first person who can find a clip of me diagnosing somebody, all right? But here's the caveat. It's not diagnosing if the person said they had something, all right? So let's make that clear. But if, if I'm missing something, you are gonna be $100 richer. And there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people out there who assume that I somehow diagnose somebody, so I'm sure somebody out there can find at least one clip. And what's the purpose of this? I don't know, and I honestly just don't even care anymore. I just want one by one, I want people to notice and acknowledge how fucking ridiculous all this stuff is, all right? <laughs> and I think it was a perfect example when Shane Dawson was getting accused of boning his cat. All right, but anyways, tell a friend, tell a family member, they can win $100 from this guy if you find a clip of me diagnosing somebody. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel through Patreon and buying my books or merch. You help me find $100 to give to somebody to find some imaginary clip that's out there somewhere. All right, but anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.